Okay, gentlemen, that's the signal to fire off these, uh, these cannons. Unfortunately, it all came down on us. <laughs> festive game. It's festive. Very festive. Very festive. I'm going to be festive all day now. <laughs> Between that and glitter, the glitter from Donna Quaken's creations. The glitter queen. The glitter queen. All right, well, coming down the street to kick this thing off, we have the uh, Steel Line Drum Band. Uh, they will appear later in the parade, but. Uh, they're giving us a little preview to kick things off. And while they're coming, uh, just let me say, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and welcome to the 45th Wampum Christmas Parade. 45th. 45th. It's <laughs> incredible. Some of these people who are watching the parade were in it as children. Thank you. And. Um, have their grandchildren in it. It just goes generation after generation. Yes, it does. I've, I've lived in this town my whole life and uh, almost part of it. There's been parades here because I'm not going to say how old I'm in. But uh, we'll let the Steel Line Band play and then we'll talk a little more after that. Steelers, what's that? <laughs> they look like they're having so much fun. Well, while we have a minute, uh, Teresa, yes. uh, why don't we introduce the judges? The, yes. We have, we have the judges again today judging. Yes, we uh, do. This is, well, it's been several years now. That, uh, I think we might be in our six or seven. Six or seven. Okay, that's okay, what Don's well. saying too. So these, um, for those of you who don't know, Wampum has the Co Court of Common Pleas judges judge their floats, and we are just delighted to have them each year. They really love Wampum, that's why they come back. We're gonna start with Judge Motto. It's the chief judge, and I think it is his sixth or seventh year. I, I've lost track. Next to his sixth? Sixth. And his wife faithfully comes and watches it in the cold. <laughs> Next is um, Judge Cox, Craig Cox. And he's in, I don't know how many years, two, six or seven, two, same as Tom, yeah. John Hodge, Judge Hodge, thank you, John. And for the first year, Judge Acker, David Acker. So we really appreciate them. And I tell you what, they take their time judging the floats. They take it very seriously. Uh, we, we certainly appreciate them taking time out of their schedule and coming to our little parade here in Wampum. Uh, it's, it's an honor. It's an honor to have you, you gentlemen come and... and and judge our floats. It is. Well, we, we hope we can have you back every year. 
Okay. And they said that it kicks off their Christmas season and that they love coming to Wampum. So thank you. While we're waiting for the uh, the beginning of the parade to come around the corner, I'd just like to say that uh, the efforts of the parade committee every year putting on this this parade is a is a quite an effort. We have I th what I think right now is probably the best parade committee that we've had. Uh, we have a lot of talented people, um, a lot of dedicated people. There's just hours and hours of phone calls and emails and uh, contacts and verification and making sure people are coming and who's not coming. And uh, it's, it's just a chore every year. And of course, we have uh, young adults and children uh, uh, portraying costume characters in this parade, which is a chore in itself. We're always looking for people to uh, take part in the parade and, and, and be part of our costume characters. So if anyone out there has an interest in being in our parade, please, please contact uh, one of the parade committee members or you can see me uh, or Teresa. Even if you gave your name at the borough, that, yeah, Donna that, could contact. It, Donna Quaken's our chairperson. That's correct. And uh, we'd be glad to have, have you on our list of, of, to be on in the parade. And of course, you know, we have uh, a lot of people donating vehicles. One other thing, uh, the Walt Mary Women's Club Bazaar is located at the American Legion today. So if you're uh, looking for uh, some food or some raffles or bake sales, uh, American Legion up on uh, Beaver Street, and that'll be going on after the parade. So starting things off, after the Steel Line Band, we have our police chief, Frank Gennetti. Frank's been around Wampum a long time. Yes, he has, and he's a lot uh, of parades. Frank always right? leads yes. off our parade. Twenty-five, he says. Twenty-five. Followed up by the Newcastle Honor Guard. These gentlemen come to our parade every year. Yes. We appreciate their participation. Thank you, gentlemen, for your service. Yes, thank you. Following the honor guard, we have the Indian chiefs with our Christmas banner. Hi. And the chiefs this year are De Delaney Blake and Christian Cumston. I think that's wonderful that every year the parade starts the same, but in the content it changes that's, every year. Yes. It's a nice tradition. That's right. And another honor guard vehicle from the 107th Newcastle. Our Indian Braves with the wampum banner, Marcus and Ethan Crosby. Now this year, our Grand Marshal, our Grand Marshal is Ron Scala. Ron Scala was uh, born in Lower Chewton, moved to Wampum when he was one years old, graduated the Wampum High School class in 1956, started cutting hair at age 14. Ron was a barber in Wampum for 62 years. And unfortunately, that was our fire department covering <laughs> up with their sirens and horns. We love them when we need them, though. Yes, we do. They're also part of the parade because they let us use their space to make the uh, committee floats. Well, that's true. We were there last Saturday for seven or eight hours uh, making yes. floats for the parade. And you know, the, the kids love fire trucks. I loved fire trucks when I was a kid. Uh, uh, absolutely. And they, they weren't near as fancy as the They ones weren't they as have fancy, now. yeah. And a nice donation on the top. It's really sweet. So that is also Wampum. Or Wampum. They've done a good job with their fundraising, I believe, because they had a uh, they had a fire a while back oh, themselves. Yes, yeah. they did. Uh, fire at the fire station. Which yes. Is, Ironic. Yes. Uh, everything's good to go again there, but uh, you know these guys, all the fire departments, you know they, they spend a lot of time uh, training and practicing, and you know you wonder why they do that. Well, 
you know, the, the faster they can they can get a uh, event taken care of, you know, the less damage there is. And of course, there's always the threat of, of the loss of life. Yeah. Not only uh, people involved in the in the event, but the, the fire uh, fighters also. There's New Beaver. New Beaver, our, our neighbors from New Beaver. With an elf driving. There's Kevin, he's been there a long time too. New Beaver Borough, another close neighbor. These small towns really stick together. Yes, they, they do. They uh, have to. You know, the fire departments help each other out when, when needed. Uh, I believe they have some friendly competition amongst themselves also. Maybe, well. not, maybe not so friendly. <laughs> Who knows what goes on behind closed doors? Who knows? I, I appreciate when they help us at Waba sell the tickets for the um, duck raffle every year, which helps the town of Wampum, and we've had all the fire departments help us. Pluck a duck, we call it. You pluck a rubber duck out of a swimming pool, and whoever's number is on the duck, they win a lot of money. Do it every year. How, how have I missed that? I don't know. It's, it's something to see. It's usually at the car cruise in August. I, I've missed that. Every year I'm going to sell you a ticket this year for sure. I like lots of money. <laughs> me and money go You're together well. I think $500. Well. Actually, the money goes yeah. together well with my wife better than me. But, uh, <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't say that. She's probably right behind me. Now she's probably saying bad things about me. No, nah, she wouldn't. Oh, yeah, she does it all the time. But I deserve it. Here's more than you be her, No, this is Bessemer. This is Bessemer. All right. Again, another small town. There's a lot of us small towns. That Bessemer Fire Company. Yeah. Thank you, Bessemer. Thank you for not doing your siren. <laughs> well, they, they, they spread out a little bit, too. Yeah. I, was, I was having trouble keeping up there for a few minutes. Uh, I think when they're throwing the candy, it slows some of them down. <laughs> well, you know, the kids, the kids love to pick up the candy. They do. I'm sure the candy companies love love parades. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Now someone has music. Is that the Elmo truck with Elmo on it? Either that or someone's cell phone. <laughs> There's a nice classic red truck. These these fire fire equipment are uh, just amazing to me. Uh, there's so much money involved with them and they, and they have to take care of them. And, yeah, uh, that is Elmo. Elmo. Elmo's on the fire truck. Who knew he was a firefighter? Elmo's from Koppel. <laughs> Elmo's from Koppel. <laughs> Elmo lives in Koppel. Don't tell anybody that because he's, he's on TV. The music's a really nice touch. Today. It's not too cold. It's not raining. Today is an absolute gorgeous day. It really is. I think it's even nicer than last year. We had a nice day last a year, nice but day I think it was a little year. colder. Uh, if it was 10 degrees warmer, it would be perfect. It'd be perfect. Yeah, the the sun would gorgeous. come out just to peek, a, peek out would be nice. Just a little bit of sunshine. Well, I think we're past that for the day, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. Western Pennsylvania, you know, we don't see the sun that often. No, we don't. Not in, not in uh, December, anyway. There's Chutin Fire Department. Gotta talk about the Chutin Department. That's pizza. our neighbors from up on the hill. And they have their pizza sales, which are awesome. Oh. I don't know what night it is these days, but... I, I used, wish I wish I could tell you. I think I, it used to be Friday. I, I think it may still be Friday. Uh, but 
I, I know they, they, they do quite a, a, a business. They uh, do. New Beaver has uh, pizza sales too, and I think that's Tuesdays or Thursdays. I did not know that. Off yes. to try theirs. This looks like Slippery Rock. Slippery Rock Township. That is not the same Slippery Rock that people think of with the university. It's Slippery Rock Township. So there are more than one Slippery Rock towns. They probably just have a little university. <laughs> really little. Yeah. They're in Lawrence County. Yeah. Wartenberg. Wartenberg. All right. Nice brush truck. That's it's pretty. It's it is. Cleaned up. Very clean. A lot of chrome. Wurttemberg's such a cute little town, and the monastery, the Elwood City Monastery is there, um, and they chose it in part. The founder thought it looked a little bit like Romania, all those very steep hills. Oh, really? Yeah. I never knew that. Mm -hmm. Now, here, here comes the kind of, my kind of fire truck. Now, this, this isn't uh, much good for fighting fires today, but uh, it's certainly nice for looking at. Uh, I think this is where the term bells and whistles came from. Yeah, yeah. It has a bells and whistles. From Frisco. You know, Wampum used to have an old uh, 1946 truck. And, uh, nice. It was a sad day for me when they got rid of that. Oh. Did they sell it? Uh, they had to get rid of it. They had to get it. rid yeah, of it. Yeah. Can't that, it that one there is older. Uh, That's a big truck. Frisco, one of our Franklin Township. Can you imagine having to wash that? <laughs> it's like washing probably a dozen cars. Oh, it'll take all day. So well, let's see, that's the end of the fire trucks. Mickey and Minnie. We have Mickey and Minnie, and they're kind of out of out of place here. Uh, and uh, is that Teresa, do you know who Mickey and Minnie are this year? I think that's Mario McHugh. Is that Mario? Marino McHugh, right? <laughs> Minnie. Let's see, I'm going. Yes. They were a little out of order, so I don't have her name. When I. It doesn't surprise me when things get out of uh, line, but uh, our Wampa mayor, Jeff Steffler, yeah, and uh, he's driven in, in a car by Bobby Decker, Barbie Decker, uh, with a snowman on the back. And then coming up uh, after Jeff is a Wampum council president, Carolee Lawhead, and uh, as always, She's being driven by her husband, John. John just waves and nods. Doesn't <laughs> and smiles. <laughs> He's so good natured. He is. He is. So is uh, Carolee for that matter, too. Right. Uh, here's, the, uh, here's our first float today from the Wampum Presbyterian Church Youth Choir. And they are sporting a first place ribbon. First place ribbon entitled For Joy to the World. Joy to the World. So they were our religious float entrant. Nice job, you all. Very nice. And then coming down is the Paw Prince uh, Club from Chewton under the direction of Joan Badger. These kids uh, join this club and they, they learn to train their dogs and work with their dogs. And uh, it's just a great, great organization. It's yeah. one of the cutest portions of the parade, it, it all is. those dogs in you costume. Know, if anyone out there has uh, dogs and uh, children and they want to learn how to uh, interact with their dogs, uh, get a hold of Joan and uh, get into this club because it's a great, great thing. They are adorable. They're all sizes, all breeds. There's, there's no. Uh, they all look happy. Their tails no are up. There's no discrimination on them. I mean, <laughs> no. There's every kind of dog you can think of. The little ones keep right up with the big ones. Oh yeah. The legs have to move fast. The legs have to move faster. Exactly. All right. Next we have the uh, Lawrence County and Pennsylvania Distinguished 
young woman. And that's Maria Kay. Maria, congratulations. We have one dog straggler over here too. Oh, people. he's he's saying hello to all the people. You know, people people love the, the dogs and when you get one that the dog who likes people, they're gonna come and he's a politician dog. He's running for dog office. Yeah. He's stopping to see everybody. That's right. Ah, now let's see, I think next these are this is a float. This is a float that looks like uh, Studio P. Yes. Angels of Dance. And these girls are just doing a wonderful job. Just look at them. Precious. Studio P has participated in our parade for... Uh, I've, I've been doing the announcement at this parade for nine. This is my ninth year, and I, they've been here every year, and I know they were here prior to that for uh, many years. Even if it's freezing cold, these Even if they, it's show cold, they, they show up. They show up. They show up. We certainly appreciate uh, the participation and the efforts that go into the floats. I see my friend Sophia in the float. They're wonderful. They work hard. Those those girls really work hard. Yes, they do. And you know these these parades give them a venue to, to perform too. So. Exactly. Yeah. To show their talents. Ah, uh, let's see. I don't think I have this even on my list. They were here last year. I remember they, they that. They were here last year. Uh huh. And look at the little guy. We talked to him when we were judging mixed, floats. Mixed his his dad made that for him. Does that car have a motor? Does it really? Oh yeah. No it definitely does it. He goes it. The judges paid better attention than I did, clearly. <laughs> it does have a motor. Well, I, I can tell next that uh, our next uh, participant is our county commissioner, Dan Vogler. He's Wampum's favorite son. I said that last year. I'll say it again. Yes, he is. Dan <laughs> he used grew to, up here. Dan used to deliver newspapers in Wampum when he was... Uh, Yep. <laughs> I'm going to have John Hodge make a little comment here about Dan's license plate. Anytime you see the license plate, you sure know who it is. Yeah. Right, Commissioner? We can tell your license all does, over. Does it Does it say Kamish? No, it says Wampum. Oh, really? He's a Wampum, Wampum. boy. In his, in his Chevy Spark. Nice to see you, Dan. Dan. Job as always. Oh, thank you. Glad you're here as always. Yes. My pleasure. Dan Merry would Christmas. never miss a parade, I'm positive. <laughs> I used to serve on the planning commission with Dan, and we once had a meeting at what was his school um, when he was a child. And I want to say it was like a two-room schoolhouse. It's it's been demolished. That was probably about 15 years ago, but it's he literally went to school. As a in young Newport? child, Newport, probably. Yeah. I don't, it wasn't in in Wampum proper, so I'm sure a lot of people who live here know what I'm talking about. It was probably Newport School. Uh, yeah, very tiny. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, okay, now uh, County Commissioner. Is that Steve? I believe we have in Steve a, Craig. Wow, I like your car, Steve. And uh, it's being driven by Bob Marshall and a Bobby. car furnished by McElwain's in Elwood City. That's a beautiful car. Oh, Bob says it's his. That's Bob's car. Oh, come take me for a ride sometime, Bob. <laughs> Bob Marshall does a lot for this town. He lets us use their parking lot at the funeral home for events. He's always reliable to sponsor events. He's really the good Marshall guy. family has, has been a big part of Wampum for oh my gosh, yes. several generations. So uh, That's right. here we have Hello Kitty. <laughs> Emma, Emma Hello, Bowling Kitty. is Hello Kitty this year. Very nice. Are you a Hello Kitty fan? Um, no. <laughs> and, and unless they're killing aliens and blowing up stuff, right? I'm, I'm <laughs> no. So, uh, okay, now this is a uh, this is a uh, uh, parade committee float, uh, which is Merry Christmas from Legoland, and it's being yes. pulled by our newest uh, wampum. This is their fire department the uh, vehicle. vehicle. I, I believe this is the new one. 
positive. Hey, look, they look great. That's Batman, Lego Land. Lego Land, Batman. Rachel Widowfield is under one of those costumes, as well as. Oh, well, there might even be Mike Blake or Lorelei Hink. Uh, there was only two people two in there. Two people. Unless mm -hmm. One of them wasn't moving much. The, that was one of the floats we worked on last weekend for the parade committee. Yes, yes it was. Here's our state representative, Aaron Bernstein. Aaron was elected last year. Uh, Hi, Aaron. Our state representative. Thanks for Doing coming. A great job. Last year, he, he was live on Facebook from the Wampum Parade. We really appreciated that. This year, too. This year, too. I well, can't wait to see it. We appreciate you being here, Aaron. Well, now here we have uh, the Mario Kart. Uh, the Mario Kart gang. Uh, and these are the Elwood City Kindergarten teachers. Oh, my gosh. I love it. <laughs> nice and, job. And that's uh, Tammy Rosansky. All right, Tammy. <laughs> Stacy Hamilton, Megan right. Moore, and Megan. Jill Felina. You guys look awesome. I love, I love that. The costume is yes. great. Excellent. Yes. We're going to see Tammy's son on another float yeah, he's coming back up there later. Somewhere. Yeah, I saw him earlier. Uh, New Beaver Borough Mayor Mike Swanick. Mike's Thanks. been a fixture in the area for almost forever, too. Uh, of course, Mike had the uh, mushroom mine. Uh, for years and years and years, and a uh, good area businessman, and uh, now he's mayor. Now the mushroom mine, people who live here know what you're talking about, but other people probably don't know that yeah. it was an old limestone mine well, where he, had, he grew mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, we had a, well, actually, he had a, a building that he, that he did it into. He did? Oh. Yes, and uh, did it for years. Now the uh, Mines and Meadows is uh, occupying that. Yes. Now we have a bunch of minions. Nice job, Minions. Love the hats. Maybe we should, maybe, well, I don't know so if we have time to announce all their names. Jennifer. Ferglia and Amico Ferglia, Zach Wiley, Hayden. That's a hard name to say. Squiquero. 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 I went to school with a Squiquero. Did you? Yes, I did. Jale Jalela Chambers, Malaya Williams, Elena, and Adeline Garove. Here's the, another uh, float. Diamond Dance Academy uh, float. This is called the Gift of Dance. Diamond Dance is another regular participant in our parades. They had a wonderful float and they performed for our judges as they are performing for the crowd right now. And this year they decided just to celebrate dance, to really just you let... Can, you can do a little routine for us right here if you like. Yeah, if you'd like to stop. Hey, Dance also? Yes. Oh yes. my. There's talent. So talent we have, and courage. We have, uh, we have acrobats and gymnasts. And They're amazing. Right on the hard cement. Just... Thank you. I, I'd hurt myself. I would, <laughs> I would never try it. I hurt myself without doing anything like that. <laughs> Me too. Next we have the K9, K9 unit station 1400 from Slippery Rock. The rescue dogs, oh my gosh, these dogs are awesome. I think I talked last year about how they, some of them at one point trained in the mine in Wampum. But boy, when you need them, you know, they can do things people can't. They sure can. Uh, working dogs. They're working dogs, that's exactly right. They're beautiful. There's a big investment in those animals too that, uh, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have a Hershey Kiss. One of our oh. costume characters, Hershey Kiss. She looks so sweet. Anna Marie Crosby. 
Thank you, Anna Marie, for coming. And right behind her, we have... Claire Sanita. Claire Sanita. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. This is Miss Wheelchair Pennsylvania. Miss Wheelchair of Pennsylvania, thank you so much for coming. And her father, Joe Sanita. Hey, Joe. Joe has a wampum connection because he helped us with the, uh, he's a professional geologist and helped with the train station, the project over there, doing an environmental study. So glad you claimed Claire. You know, the, the train stations have become a, uh, a big part of the town now. It's a community I mean, Actually, it wasn't even a train station. It was just a baggage building, and they, they, they did a You're right. incredible remodel on it. And it's, it's wonderful. It, it's wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah. That was the Wampum um, Community Development, and they actually have a little float that we'll be seeing, too. Well, speaking of oh, floats. Autism Warriors. This is the Autism Warriors hey. float. And, uh, Wonderful. Thank you I for being here. This is lighted up Hi, blue. Kids. And I believe this is the first time they've been in our parade. I, no, they were here last year, were too. I, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, they're shaking their heads. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Come I'm back a, next year, too. There's, there's, a, there's a little car falling. Oh. <laughs> Wonder where that came from. <laughs> I don't know. It's not on my list. <laughs> I don't know who the driver is. <laughs> Someone very little, very small. North Country Trail. North Country Trail next. Uh, if you're not familiar with North Country Trail, they are making great, great uh, uh, inroads in, in getting the trail established. A lot of it is established. I have traveled, uh, oh, maybe about 10 miles of the trail, and it's, it's very nice. Uh, these people volunteer their time, and... Uh, they actually... Well, thank you. They, they, they upkeep the trail. They keep the, the trail cleared uh, of fallen trees, and other debris, uh, weeds, they keep the, they keep the, Hi, Joe Ellen. They keep the, the trails uh, trimmed and they cut. Do. They actually built the trail, and it wouldn't be through Lawrence County if it were not for the Wampum chapter. That's exactly right, and uh, the trails are marked clearly so you don't get lost. Uh, oh. Louise Carroll. Louise Carroll, the Red Hat Society Queen Mom. All right. The Red Hat Society. I, I had. I used to have some information on them. They. Uh, they just have fun. Oh, they, they dress. Do. They dress in purple. They wear red hats and they have fun. And Louise has been a big part of it for I bet at least a decade. Oh yes. At least. Yes. Yes. We've got some ducks coming. Donald and Daisy Duck. Donald and Daisy. That's Brian Wiley. Hannah. Hannah Squeakerell. Squeakerell. I didn't want to try that again. Well, that's the way we I used to say it when Squeakerel. I was in high school. That sounds right. A million years ago. This is a float from the Wampum Underground. And I used to work there, so I know these people. And uh, we just saw Jackson's mom. This is the Christmas vacation float. Yes. And you know, what a great idea. Nobody ever did a boat before. I mean, it's this, awesome. That's, that's what a great idea. Allison, who works at the mine, is there. Allison Frickinish. They're catching fish. Merry Christmas. Nice. And here's the, here is uh, the Mohawk Junior Senior High Band under the direction of Jason Zay. line also and the mini majorettes you guys look great looking good well there's a uh, there's a Cheetos cheetah all right Andy Lloyd that away Cheeto That was his mom, Melanie, as his handler. Okay, this, now um, we have... We have a prize. This is the order of the arrow here. 
this float was judged as third place among all the floats. I just want you to enjoy their dancing here. I, it's probably not called dancing. This is an elite group. The Order of the Arrow. Not everyone gets in the Order of the Arrow. No. I was, I was a young, young kid when I first saw the Order of the Arrow, and I was just amazed. I first saw it at the Wampum Parade. I mean, they, they educated me. It's, it's a really great group, really, very elite. Oh, look at these kids on their skateboards and bikes. That's so wonderful. You're good. Look at that. Those aren't skateboards. Those are what? Uh, well, hoverboards, skateboards. I'm not sure what they call them. We have Woody and Woody and Jesse <laughs> from Toy Story. Lauren and Bailey Eaton. And let's see. This is, this uh, is... life. I can't see the sign yet. I believe this is Life. Life Lawrence County. Life oh, no, it's Lawrence a, um, County. Oh, no, that's the, the bus. Uh, that should be the bus. Uh, oh, this is a Fair Queen. The Fair Queen. Okay. We've got our Lawrence County Fair Queen. Wonderful. I think they were going to have a float, but they had, a, they had an issue with a flat tire. Oh. Uh, Now we have the Life Lawrence County. Here's Life bus. Lawrence County. They're looking festive. That is a really nice group that helps um, elderly. You know, it kind of coordinates all their health care. You know, these, these places, uh, these organizations do so much. Did she leave, leave already? Yeah. In helping uh, elderly people, injured people, whatever. Now this is a little different than uh, Last year, this this little cart here is something new. This is the uh, Shriners from Butler driving the little cars. And if you're not if you're not aware of the the Shrine, they uh, they raise money for the Shrine Hospital, which is uh, just does great things. They go really fast. So many people. I, I still want to drive one of those. Yeah, the Mini Model T. He told me it was built about 45 years ago for the Shriners. And he also assured me it was not a toy. He said these are not toys. No, they are not toys. They look like toys, though. They go pretty fast. They look like they go pretty good. <laughs> Nothing like raising money for a good cause and having fun. Oh, yeah. That's a good thing it wasn't snowy today. They'd be I sliding know. all over the place. <laughs> yeah, definitely. They enjoy this, you can tell. <laughs> we should have them up at the racetrack. I, I would I would enjoy driving. I would be able to get me out of one. It of looks those. fun. It does. I'd go until it ran out of fuel. <laughs> They'd have fun up at um, Beaver Run or whatever the racetrack is called these days, International. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can hear it from down here most you of the You can. Time. It is really, you know, world renowned for people who like racing. This must be one of their big cars. Wow, that's a nice one. Merry Same Christmas. Thank you for Thank coming you. to the parade. Wow, what do we have next year? More Shriners. Oh, there's a Snoopy Shriner. A Snoopy All Shriner. Right. This car, the judges were got to look at the motor of it. And I don't know what it's called, but they were all pretty impressed. Hi. Thanks for coming. Well, that's a big old Buick Riviera. Uh, you know. See, what I didn't know. 69. 69. All right. He popped the hood, and everyone got a good look at it. That's for sure. I see our M&Ms coming next, Teresa. So that's Beth Ann McDonald, Madison Quigley, and Keith Carbone. Thanks for participating, guys. You know, I just thought, 
I didn't even take time at the beginning. We had so much going on so fast. I didn't even take time to, to, to welcome you oh, back. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thank you. Coming back this year and, and helping me. You know, I can't great. believe it's been a year. Yes. It went very fast. Here's Dance Expressions. Dance Expressions is another of our local groups that comes every year Pam. and performs for the, the folks along the street. I think Pam Leo McDonald arranges that. She does. Here's the little ones. Oh, that's a long parade route for them. They're doing great. You know what's interesting? Good job. Is so many people come into town on parade day. I, I see people that I haven't seen for years, and there's, there's people from out of town. We have a gentleman right across the street comes from Bethel Park. Really? Oh, oh, I remember you from last year. Welcome back. Thank to, you. To, to film our parade. He likes to do it. And uh, this is Elwood uh, City Chamber of Commerce. That's Ray Santillo, Ray the director, Santillo. with um, Jillian Court. Jillian Court. Head of Community Enrichment. Head of Community Enrichment. Thank okay. you for coming. We appreciate it. So the Elwood City Chamber is the chamber for Wampum, but Wampum has its own business association that's extremely active, and they're responsible in part for the new Christmas lights. Um, you might not notice the lights are new because they look so old fashioned and cozy, but yes, they're brand new. They are brand new. They just got those a few weeks ago. Waba raised $27,000 from local businesses and residents and sponsors. And they're, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous. Speaking this is, of beautiful, here's Ed McCready. <laughs> this is home for the whole happy holidays, uh, Wampum revitalization. They're the ones who were responsible for getting the the old the train station train redone. baggage station yeah. building, which is just absolutely gorgeous. They also do the scarecrow contest every fall. They do. And the reason Ed McCready's driving is because Joanne McCready is very active in that, along with Carly Lockhead, along with Jim Franny, and I know I'm forgetting others. So well, you know, the the revitalization committee is is also a big part of of the parade and a lot of other things that go on at Yes, Wampum. yeah. Uh, here's some Muppets. We have Kermit. Kermit, Casey, say it again. Squeakero. Squeakero. I'll know it before the day's over. And Casey Fozzie is Missy Iris. Iris. We used to say Iris when I was in school. Oh, okay. Iris, oh, I, like Donnie Iris, right? Well, yeah, yeah, Iris. Similar. Iris. Iris. Similar. Yeah. Similar. Look at this little This car. is a little Mattis service station. Okay. Uh, Love it. Oh, yeah, coming up, uh, we have the Mattis Racetrack. The Mattis Service Station and Racetrack is I, all the same thing. I like, like that one better. So that would be more fun. Really nice. I, would, I could do that and not injure myself. <laughs> <I'm quite laughs> so where do they race, usually, I wonder? The, probably not, not locally. They probably travel. Maybe Mercer. Mercer. I don't, I don't know. Oh, Lernerville, Mercer, John Hodge, Judge Hodge is helping us out with that one. I didn't yeah. know you were a race fan. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Following, following the uh, Mattis car is another crowd favorite that comes every year. The Caring Critters. The Caring Critters. And I, I, I hope I can do this. I try this every year, and sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. These folks are a group of local costumers, part of the anthropomorphic fandom whatever that is and uh they bring smiles to young and old and raise money annually for charities dedicated to the welfare of animals now let's listen to some music from the elwood city lincoln high school blue band under the direction of lee caldwell Club, 
And this is entitled Chris Moose Express. The Chris Moose. They really put a lot of work into it. As it goes by, you'll notice all the little details. And they told us, they told the judges that they mainly do it for the kids. You know, the kids just really love riding in it. This was a prize winner? This was second prize, second yes. Prize. That's a great yeah. float. That is just very a great nice. Float. Very nice. I, I I know from last week how much time it takes to, to put this stuff together. Yeah, it does. I'm starting to recognize the one comes back each year. It's funny. At first they just all looked like animals, and now I can pinpoint which ones come back, <laughs> which ones are new. They they have been participating in our parade a long time. Well, I'm going to say 12, 15 years. I, I think so too. Uh, I know they were they were participating. I think when my uncle was was, was doing the uh, Yes, when Gene was, yeah. yeah. Gene Cody, boy, he's missed, huh? He, he certainly is. He was a big personality. He was, uh, you know, he was a big part of this town for so many years. Council. And, uh, well, we have we have superheroes coming down the street, and they're interacting with the with the kids, so the. They're not, uh, they're not blazing right through here like... Uh, oh, look at Spider-Man. Oh, oh, my gosh. Yeah. He was making kicks and tumbles. Oh, I see uh, I see Superman. Superman. Look at those muscles. And I see, <laughs> he's, he's posing. <laughs> I see Batman and Ronald and Captain America. Captain America. You don't see that all the time. No. All right. Oh, they're, they're hamming it up. I love it. And Thor. I saw Thor... Thor. Spider-Man. Right. Let's see who we have here. Uh, so we've got Jess Jasker as Wonder Woman, Rachel Dinger as Batgirl, Supergirl is Rebecca Conazaro, Batman's Kevin Chung, Robin is Chris Maxwell, Spider-Man Jordan Royer, Superman Curtis Coy, Captain America John Timko, and Thor is AJ Rogers. Wow! Right. You guys are awesome. You're, they're not going to get fuck Captain Thank America down with that. No. Yeah. Need a bigger cannon. And here's a Noga ambulance. You know, Noga's a provider of emergency services and been around for a long time, and they're always in our parade. Yeah, and when you, they're like the fire department. When you need them, you really need them, and you're yes. happy. So yes. we all need them. Yeah, support them. You have to say you hope you don't need them, but when you do, well, you, when do. you do, they're there. That's right. All right, now let's see. Here's the Dairy Princess float. Now this is maybe the one that had the. Uh, I think they had a rough morning. They had the flat tire. Yeah, they had a flat tire. They had some trouble, but they still put it. They pulled it all together very graciously for the judges. We really so appreciate you being here. Emily Emily Spear is the uh, Dairy Princess, and we have the Mary Mrs. Uh, Congratulations, along with Emily. Them. Thank you for coming down and, yeah. and, and look at the milk carton. That's so cute. They made a milk carton with getting by with your with your issues with the tire and so forth. It's excellent to be here. Like a princess, she handled it with grace. That's right. And then we have some teenage mutant ninja turtles here. Some more cartoon characters. All right. This is Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. Also known as Hunter George, Burke Cheats. Aaliyah McClintock and Austin George. Austin George. Now here's another float from the parade committee. This is celebrating 90 years with Dr. Seuss. That's amazing. We have the Grinch. Looks great. We have the cat in the hat, who is Shauna Hardy. The Grinch is Samantha Iris. And Cindy Lou Who is Hallie Lauren. Uh -huh. We have Thing One and Thing Two. Uh, which I don't know who they are. They're troublemakers, those two. <laughs> and, you know, all of those, all of those uh, posters and pictures on that, on that float were painted by Sue Sher. Sue, Sue, go ahead. She's just incredible. She's incredible. Every year on the parade committee, she comes up with new creations. She's an artist. Her husband helps her get them to the uh, point that they can be displayed in the parade. Really appreciate Sue's help. Sue is just an incredible person, and her husband Noah is a great guy. Too. They're talented. Okay, so now we have uh, we have the penguin. Uh, oh, icebergs here! Oh wow! Nicole Butera. Nicole Butera. And then, of course, we have the steel line, the Pittsburgh steel line band again. They're still smiling. Coming down at the end. They've been playing since the parade started. Yeah.
different room. playing since they came through here the first time. They've been playing steady. And I'm lying about them. Nice that the, the mascot for the penguins hung with them. I see. I see something that we've not had in the parade in the past. What is that? We have Orion, the amazing stilt walker. Wow. And he's juggling. Oh, Ryan. I, I, he must be an Italian fella. <laughs> Look at that, though. My goodness. How does he do it? It is. I'm speechless. It's amazing. While Orion's uh, pause with the crowd, Orion, uh, he uh, mingles with the crowd as he's going. But we have Rudolph, Rudolph coming uh, down. And Rudolph is... Uh, Jody Rowing. Jody Rowing. And has, she has a handler, Ed Watson. Ed Watson. It's a little difficult to see sometimes with those, in those costumes. Uh, so we need, we need someone to accompany them, to make sure that they're, uh, they don't trip over anybody. You know, I just want to mention, you've, we saw two floats that the committee does, and those ones are not judged. They're just the committee's gift to the parade to just add a little more jazz to it. But... Well, you know, I think the committee likes to participate in the parade, too, not just... Not just jazz it up. Just get yeah. it all put together, which is a feat in itself. It is. You know, uh, but uh, we all have fun. It's a blast, it is. Now you're seeing the first place float this year, and it's more than a float. It's a float. It's a performance. It's it's a lot of things. Um, Dollywood is the theme, and the initial part you see is the float. Behind them, there are horses, and the horses actually performed for the judges, something that was done at Dollywood. Um, they don't, can't do it here. They did it in the ballpark. and. Part of it was where they scattered. It was just really, really nice how they pulled it all together with that theme. And they are their first place winners. Congratulations. That's a great float. Leroy, what is Leroy's last name? Um, Henry. Leroy Henry makes it all happen. He makes Leroy. it all happen. And look at these, all oh, these adorable miniatures. That little girl in the pink with the helmet, she's one years old. And really? She's one years old. And she wanted to ride a bigger horse. And, and the other ones aren't much older. They've got a one-year-old, a two-year-old, a three-year-old participating this year. And they, he loves those little horses. He even lets them practice through the town, like, like last year he did. Well, you know, horses were always a, a big part of every parade. Was, yes. We used to have Halloween parade, and we used to have Memorial Day parade. There was a lot of parades in town at one time, but it was always horses. Uh, wow, these are fancy. Very nice. And we all commented the very final one looks like the Marlboro Man. Remember? I'm, I'm old enough to remember. Oh, yeah. There. Marble. Hey, Leroy, take a bow. Good job. Congratulations on first place. Thank you. Uh huh. Thanks for coming this year, too. Do you like a bead? I'm good. I'm good. Do you like a bead? Just throw it off a little bit. You have to hug someone. Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we get bead for the adults and maybe for the kids. Thank you. Thank you. Now, who have we got here? Is that part that's all? I think this is all part of the uh, pony. Oh, yes, it is. The pony the cleanup purple, crew. Purple, purple. They're responsible parade purple participants. Grotto, uh, moon, the pony club. That's all uh, moon, Leroy, and that's all the Dollywood. Moon ponies. Like I said, it, it was more of more than a float. It's like, a production. My Little Ponies. My Little Ponies. ponies. <laughs> the final, well, Orion's making his way up here. Uh, the, amazing, the amazing stilt walker. I see some red hats watching from the sidelines now that their part Whoa. is done. <laughs> they came to get candy. Oh, and now we've got the still. Woo! Uh oh. Oh, you're amazing. Just like your name says. You're an Italian fella, right? Oh, Ryan. Look at that. That is. All right. 
can't imagine the concentration. He stays on, on balance and juggles and everything. That's excellent. I think he was teasing us, like pretending to almost fall. Oh, I think. I could have done that on per. I would have done it. I, I would just fell. <laughs> I, I don't think I could get up in the first place. Okay. So now we're getting to the, to the real meat of the, of the parade here. The crowd hushes while they see we have the clauses of coming down. Here comes Mrs. Santa Claus. Mrs. Santa Claus. Is Mrs. Santa Claus. Is Mrs. Santa Claus. That's right. And, okay. and there are some elves on there. Oh, you look guys. Look at those look, elves. They look cozy. Looks like Jordan Lutz and Randy. And, and Ricky. Ricky White. Siblings. And Bradley Wiley. Maybe. I don't know. And Ruth Hardy oh, he's on, helped make it all happen. Bradley's on Santa Claus. Santa's. There okay. he is now, La Père oh, Noel. the big guy. All right. Mr. Christmas, Father Christmas, Santa Claus himself. All right. Thank you, Santa. And Logan Cook and Luke Berkeley are up there helping Santa. Santa came in from the North Pole, and he's headed up to the gymnasium for all the kids. There's more going on in town than just a parade. So if you, if you, if you don't want to just run away real quick, I mean, check out some of the other things that are going on in town today. If you have little ones too, you can go to the gym and have photos taken with the penguins. They're not real, but they're a whole flock of penguins and the Dalmatians, and there's a lot of photo opportunities for Christmas cards, things like that. Uh, that was our 45th parade. We hope you'll all return next year for 46th. It's to make me Christmas feel day. a little bit aged. That's right. Yes. And, and the plans will start probably tomorrow putting that together. And the judges are already committed to next year, they told me. I'm so happy to hear that. Thank, Thank you. you all. Thank you. And good day. Merry Christmas.